So there's a question there saying, when you're on contraception, you're not ovulating at all. So how does that affect muscle growth? So when you're using a hormonal contraception that eliminates ovulation, which is primarily your combined oral contraceptive pill, it downregulates your endocrine system. Mm -hmm. Primarily, um, your body's response is to produce estrogen, luteinizing hormone surge, ovulation, which then produces progesterone. So your body's hormones are really what you're taking from that pill. We see that the dosage of estradiol in that pill can increase the amount of muscle mass that you are building, but there's no equivalent strength increase. Yeah. So how I explain that is if you get a low dose estrogen oral contraceptive pill and you have a 20 microgram dose versus a 30 microgram dose, that 30 microgram dose is going to increase the amount of hypertrophy or lean mass that develops with the same kind of strength training that a 20 microgram dose does. But you don't get any more strength, like central nervous system yeah, strength. Yeah, like you can't recruit right, the muscle exactly. fibers. So exactly. it's like muscle mass is there, but it's just not useful muscle mass. Exactly. Yeah. So when I work with power lifters and I've gotten that question because they can't make weight, we look at what kind of oral contraceptive pill they're using from a performance standpoint, talking to their medical care and to them as well. It's like, let's drop you down to the 20 and see what mm. happens. They drop to the 20, extra mass comes off and their power goes up. So power to weight increases. Mm. So there is something to the t amount of estradiol that you're using. And it doesn't have anything to do with how your own natural hormones are contributing. I guess a follow on question from this is, um, obviously HRT, MHT has become really, really popular. And a lot of women are maybe still having symptoms when they're on the MHT. So they think that increasing the estrogen patch is a way to get rid of this. And I'm seeing some ladies are on well over 100 micrograms, like up to 125. And um, it's a bit scary, so. Yeah, there was a backlash from a very popular clinic in the UK about over-prescribing the estradiol patch. We have to understand that what's in MHT is not the same as what is in an oral contraceptive pill. Mm -hmm. MHT is designed to give your body enough of a lift of your hormone to attenuate symptoms. Yeah, so it's just stopping the big fluxes, yes, exactly. right? It's more like just trying to make it a bit more level. Yep. Yeah. And it doesn't stop change, it just slows the rate of change. And we're not going to get the same amount of hormones from MHT that our body used to produce when we were in our reproductive years. So this is where the confusion often comes in, where people think more is better, mm. but it's not. It's not designed to be really high doses you have to work with someone who understands MHG to see what's right for you to attenuate your symptomology. And it's not about upping all your estradiol. More is not always better. No.